Hi all, welcome to my channel. So if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel to get more of my videos. And for today, I'll be doing a short tutorial on getting financial stock data into Power BI. So for today's tutorial, I'll be using this Python package called Y Finance to get the stock data. So for today's outcome, it's very simple. We'll be importing the Microsoft stock data from Y Finance which is provided by Yahoo. Yeah, so this is the outcome for today. It's as simple as that. So let's move on to the prerequisite. So um, there's four prerequisites in, in order to achieve the outcome. So first, you need Anaconda and Python 3 to be installed. So if you haven't watched my first video, please watch it. It will guide you through the installation process. So now, open up your Anaconda Pro over here. Okay, so copy this line of code to create a new environment under Python 3.6 and press enter. And click Y. Okay, so now you need to activate your Y Finance environment. And now, click install Y Finance over here. Okay, so once you are done, you need to click install the matplotlib library. Okay, so once you are done, we need to go Power BI. Okay, so for Power BI, you just open it up. Okay. Okay, so close this alert go to file go to option and settings option okay go to python scripting and make sure that your python home directory is is under this directory and you see y finance here if not go to browse go to your anaconda tree go to env and go to find y finance and select ok so once you are done click ok okay so go to get data more go to search python okay you see this script here go to my slides copy and paste this code okay let me explain this code so basically i'm importing the y finance package over here and i'm going to download the Microsoft data set from the year of 2019 to the year of 2020. You can change this date accordingly to your needs. So I'm converting the data set index into day and also add in another field to identify that this data is actually Microsoft stocks. So after which, just click OK and let it load. OK, so once you are done, click the data set here and load the data okay go to the data manager click the data set over here and make sure you change all of the columns here to decimal number check through make sure it's deci decimal number if not it won't work so for here is whole number here is date and here is text okay so once you are done Go to select this line and cluster column chart over here, expand it. Okay, you can see the shared axis. Choose your date over here. Change to date instead of date hierarchy. And for your column values, you choose the volume. Okay, so now it will show you all the volume for the for the year of 2009, sorry, for the year of 2019 to 2020. Okay, and the line values choose the high over here. And you will see the trend of the stocks. So you can see that in March 2020, the stock went down because of COVID-19 and it went up again due to the recovery of the market. 
Yep, so with this, I've come to the end of my tutorial. Thank you for your time. Thank you.